Hello guys, this is Greenforge, and in this video, I will show you how to make a painter's tripod in Anche. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, before we start a sketch or anything, go up here and make sure that your workspace units are set to millimeters, and then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S, use Shift 5 to go directly to the top view. Now, because we're making a painter's tripod, we want to make an inscribed polygon, so we're just going to drag this outwards. This polygon is going to need three sides, and we don't need to worry about the measurement of this inner circle. So just press D, and then we want to dimension this line to be 55.5 millimeters. Now, we want to finish the sketch, go to the planes option, click on the top plane, the, your plane time should be offset. And we want this offset distance to be 50 millimeter, millimeters. And it should look... This offset plane should look like this. And then confirm. Now, start a sketch on this plane. Now, and then use the project or convert option. Either clicking here or pressing U, clicking on all three of these, and then finding the midpoint of this triangle by just hovering over this, finding the midpoint of the line, and then connecting it to the corner in front of it. In this case, the midpoint is going to be the origin, but what we want is to make sure that this right here is a selectable point. So what we want to do is center this directly in front. Go up here or click Shift S for the point function and then clicking right here on, on the origin. Now finish your sketch. Zoom out. So you should see two almost identical triangles. One with a circle and one with uh, a bunch of lines on it. Now use the loft function, click on this bottom triangle, and then click on that point that we made previously. Then confirm it, go down here, and then use the shell operation to remove this bottom face instead of having a shell thickness of 2.5 millimeters. Then start a sketch on this face right here. Right click, and then select view normal to sketch plane, select C for a circle, and then make a circle that has the diameter of 25.6 millimeters and is dimensioned to the bottom face a value of 3.67 millimeters. Now make a construction line from the top point of the lop of the lofted triangle to the bottom, and you want this uh, circle to be completely coincident with this line. Now finish your sketch and do the exact same thing on the other sides. We cannot use a pattern feature as we usually do because of the fact that all three of these triangle planes are simply too far apart. If, however, I tried to use a mirror, and for the mirror plane I picked this plane, and tried to... For the mirror plane I picked this plane, and if I tried to mirror an entity, unfortunately said entity does not exist. So, hide all of these planes, and then start a sketch on this face, doing the exact same thing that we did previously, making a circle with diameter of 25.6, dimensioning said circle to the bottom, making it 3.67 millimeters, making a construction line, and then making both of these coincident to each other. 
The same thing on the last face. Now, because of how extrusions work, we have to make three separate extrusions for each of these faces. So click Shift E, click on whichever circle you want, go to Remove for end type, click up to face, and then click the bottom face right here, or the inner face right here. You want to do this for each of these circles. Unfortunately, you cannot do this in a singular extrusion because if you did through all, you would extrude through the actual model. If you did up to vertex, it would extrude incorrectly. If you selected if you selected blind, then it would extrude straight rather than the angled extrusion that we're looking for. So unfortunately we do have we are confined to doing this thrice over. Now that we have this done, we can flay the inside of each of these circles. by a value of 0.35 millimeters and then flaying each of these lines right here by a value of 1 millimeter. Now we get to edit the appearance of each of these different faces. So we can edit this appearance. Let's make this one red. As you can see it colored the entire thing. So to select the exact face, you want to go down here and click Appearance to Face. So we want this to be red. We want this to be blue. And we want this to be green. Because it doesn't have a straight up green color in the palette, we can actually just edit either the hexadecimal value or just the RGB value, we want G to be 255 and we want the B value to be 0 to get a bright green color. Now, as for the rest of the part, we just want it to be black. So edit the appearance and black. So what, as you can see, it retains the appearance that we selected for the selected face, but does the uh, appearance that we selected for the greater part separately. This was making a painter's tripod in Onshape. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.